In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 2827E to your iPhone. And then I'll show you how to print using Wi-Fi and also how to scan and get the results directly on your phone. So let's get started. Step number one is to connect your printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone. So let's go over here. We need to put this printer in Wi-Fi pairing mode if it's not already in that mode. So the first step is to actually enable the Wi-Fi on this printer. Go on the control panel right over here. And what we need to see is this uh, light over here, right beside the Wi-Fi button, blinking blue. If it's blinking blue, it means that it's in pairing mode and this is what we want. If it's not blinking blue, like in my case, so you'll need two fingers to do this. You're gonna keep press the X button and the Wi-Fi button both until the blue light starts flashing blue. So let me do it with you. I'm currently pressing both of these buttons. It's for around three seconds, two, three. Okay, it's blinking blue. I can release these buttons. And right now the printer is in pairing mode. Then go on your iPhone, go on the App Store and search, okay, down below, type HP. We need to download the HP app. It looks just like this. Open the app and then you're going to see add device over here. Click on this button. Then from here, you're going to select set up a new printer. This option right on the top. Wait a few seconds. It will scan for all the printers that are connected on the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. And if after a minute you don't see anything appearing, it's not the fault of your printer. Don't worry, it's this app. Okay, simply press printer not listed, then select Wi-Fi, continue, continue, allow, and here you go, the printer appeared. I don't know why you need to do these steps, but in my case, this is what I had to do. So then press on your printer once you see it, select allow while using this app, enter your Wi-Fi password. Okay, you should see your Wi-Fi network name over here and then just enter the password down below then you're going to see this display they will ask you to press the i button on the printer so what it means it's simply go over here and tap once on the i button and the setup will continue on your phone all right once you get to this display press continue continue Over here, you can select accept or all or decline optional data. If you don't want to share your uh, usage data with HP, I don't want to do that. So I'll select decline. Over here, they will try to sell you their HP Plus subscription service. So you get your ink over mail and you pay every month a certain amount of dollars to be able to print. I don't want to do this. So I'll press do not activate HP Plus. You're not obligated. Okay, decline HP+. Plus. They will be a bit persistent. I don't like this, but yeah. Okay, press continue. And on the screen, they will ask you if you want to subscribe uh, to the HP Instant Ink, which is their other subscription service where they give you ink every month and you pay every month a certain amount of dollars. Um, in this case, I don't know if you notice, but there's no cancel button or I, a button to say that I don't want this. Uh, I don't know why they did this. I can simply put my uh, information over here and press save, but I don't want to subscribe. Therefore, I don't want to enter my uh, personal information. So if you're at the same spot where I am and you don't want HP Inc, simply quit the app and launch it again. The printer will be installed on the app. It will be added and you'll be able to use it. Again, I don't know why HP uh, did what they did. So now there is two different things you need to know. The first one, if you simply want to use uh, your iPhone to print on this HP printer, you do not need to um, have an HP account and uh, enter, sign in into your HP account like I did. If you simply want to print. If you want to print and use the scanner to get the results on your iPhone, you will have to sign in into your HP account. It's free, 
uh, HP account, it's not the same thing as HP Plus or HP Instant Ink. It's free, it takes like two minutes to create one, but this is something you need to know. I'll show you how to print without the HP app and then I'll show you how to print with the app and also how to scan. So at this point, open any files you wish to print on your phone. Could be from the camera roll or, or the files app in case it's a PDF. All right, I have opened a PDF file over here and all I have to do now is to press this button over here. It's a square with an arrow pointing up. Then press print right over here. And now under printer, tap and select your HP DeskJet 2800 series. Now you're going to have a few options, number of copies, the one in color, the size of your paper and media quality. If you're printing pictures, go ahead and in print quality, select best. It will take slightly more time to print, but the results will be the best. If you're just printing text like I do, normal is plenty enough. Press the blue button and usually the print should come out in around 10 seconds. Now to scan and get the results from the printer to your iPhone, you need to open the scan lid, place your paper facing down. Okay, this is my paper facing down with the top part of your page towards the right side. And then you need to align this corner where you see a small icon over here with the corner of your paper. So make sure both of these corners are touching. Close the lid and on your iPhone, on the HP app, tap on your printer, go down, select scan. And from here, you can tap on the top. You'll be able to select the quality of your scan. If you're scanning a picture or artwork, it's better to select 300 DPI. It will give you more details, but for anything else, 200 is enough details in my opinion. And you can also select if you want in color or black and white. Otherwise, you can also select photo here. If you're scanning photos or documents, I'll leave it like this and press the scan button. It takes around 12 seconds to get the result on your iPhone, but now it's not saved yet. So let me just show you what happens after you get the result. Okay, next, you're gonna see whatever got scanned and you'll be able to edit the borders of your page. So over here, you can drag the borders if it's not the way you want, or you can select full. This is always what I do. So the whole thing gets saved. Press the next button. And now down below, you're gonna have a few options. If you want to print what you scan, select print preview. If you want to share or save the file on your phone, select this option you'll be able to give this scan a new name if you want. So you can delete the name they gave and create a brand new name over there. And then if we go down over here, you have a file type. You can select if you want to save a JPEG, PDF, PNG, TIFF, or another one. Finally, the file size don't touch it and press continue. Now over here, you'll be able to share it with your contacts. Or if you want to use this scan in an app, you'll be able, like WhatsApp, Messenger, stuff like that. You can also airdrop the results. And finally, if you want to save that on your iPhone, you're going to go over here and select Save to File. All it's left to do is to select which folder on your iPhone you want this to go. And this is about it. You're going to press the Save button on the top right corner and it will be saved. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, Please take a moment and comment down below, subscribe, like, and if you have a bit more time and you want to get some paper for your printer, I'll put links towards Amazon, same thing for ink cartridges that are compatible with this printer, I'll put a link as well. See you in the next video.